So, how do you insert sound effects in the middle of a speech in 11 Labs? Well, if you're using the 11 version 3 model, then it is actually pretty easy because this model supports something called audio text. Let me give you one example. I have this simple passage and I want to have some sound effects in this particular audio speech. So let's say at the beginning, I want to have uh, the audio of bird chirping. So I'm going to put the cursor at the very beginning. And then I'm going to create a tag by typing the open square bracket character and then type the description of the audio, which in this case is going to be bird chirping and then close square bracket. And there you go. So that's going to be recognized as an audio tag. And this is going to be used by AI as a description about the audio that needs to be created in the speech. Now you can create as many audio tags as you like. Let's say in the middle here, I'm going to add another one. It's going to be Dries Rustling. And there you go. So when you're done, just click generate speech and you'll notice there's going to be the sound effects in this audio content. Okay, just wait. The tall trees block down most of the sunlight, making the forest dim and cool. Leave. I don't notice anything, so it's barely noticeable, but let's try the other one. The tall trees blocked out most of the sunlight, making the forest dim and cool. Leaves rustled quietly in the breeze as shadows moved across the ground. Okay, so it's not perfect, but if you're not quite happy, you can click the regenerate button again, and hopefully on the next generation, you can actually get the all the audio effects in the speech. The so that's basically how you can do it if you're using the version 3 model. However, how about if you're using the version 2 model, which is also still very popular? Well, in that case, we cannot use audio tags because that feature is just not supported here. Instead, we have to use a different tool within 11 Labs, and for that, we are going to be using something called Studio. So let's navigate to the menu called Studio right here, and let's start from scratch. I actually have copied the content, so I'm going to be using the same content again. Let me just paste the content. And there you go. So here you can select the voice that you want to have. And of course, you can adjust various settings. But I'll just use the same voice again. And now let's insert some audio effects in this particular speech. Let's say at the beginning, I'm going to put the same audio, which is bird chirping again. What you need to do here is that you have to click this icon or click this icon. It's actually the same thing. It is for inserting sound effects. And then you can describe the sound that you want to create. In this case, of course, it's going to be bird chirping again. And you can select whether it's going to be looping or not. You can select the duration. And of course, you can select the prompt influence. But I'm going to be using just default settings for everything. And then just click generate. And it will create up to four different variations. And that's actually the benefit of using this method because you are going to get different variations and you can choose which one actually sounds better and it's going to be cheaper and faster than actually manually regenerating the speech every single time so let's play one of them okay i think that's decent i'm going to use this click insert and that audio will be inserted into the timeline and it's actually there it's very simple now the speech hasn't actually been created so to make sure that it is being created you can click this play button and just wait for a few seconds the tall trees blocked out most of the sunlight making the forest dim and cool all right that's pretty good now what i like about this studio mode is it comes with some customization like you can specify the volume you can also adjust the position of the audio that's something that you will not get if you're using the regular text speech tool and of course you can add as many audio sound effects uh, as you like but that's basically how you can do it if you are using the version 3 sorry version 2 model in 11 labs so that's how you can do it and by the way to download the content you can click export and then select the single file audio format and then click export and after that you can download the content based on the format that you selected so that's essentially how you can insert audio sound effects into the audio speech in 11 last whether you're using the version 2 or the version 3 model thank you so much for watching and i wish you a great day ahead